thought I'd do an updated treat collection video for you. So the gerbils, hamsters and mice don't have their own specific treats. They all get the same treats because I know a lot of people have certain treats for hamsters and certain treats for their gerbils. I don't do that. All their treats just go in one basket in one container and then if there's certain treats that one animal can't have then I just don't give it them. But usually all the treats I have are suitable for all small pets anyways. So I just wanted to point that out rather than people asking me to do a different video on each of the treat collections which I have for all of my pets. So there is only one treat collection and basically that is the basket we have and then we have a container underneath there with a few things in as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I'll start off with what's in the container. So this is a little bit empty at the moment because I am planning on using all the treats in it before I actually fill it up because otherwise I tend to use the new treats and leave the old treats and then they go all horrible and stuff. So also before I get started, the pets actually have fruit and veggies twice or three times a week depending on how much we get. So they don't get all unhealthy treats they do get veggies and fruits at least twice a week if not more and I don't feed them treats every single day either so things like millet they tend to get more often than things like those so yeah I'm just going to stop babbling now and go straight into the video so in the first container we have some of the cheese wedges from the pick and mix range from pets at home and then we have nothing in there and then in this one we have some of the Woodlands Rodent Garnish from Pets at Home and then we have some of the Woodlands Aromatic Crunchies some Vitacraft Fruit Crossies and then we have one um, Hamster Rollini we then have some of the Vitacraft Carrot Drops now these are the lactose free and sugar free ones so they're a lot better for the pets than what the other ones are we have some Pedigree Markies we have some White Milk Chocolate drop things by Rotterstack. We have some veggie crunches from a local pet store, a couple of monkey nuts, some milk chocolate, um, Rotterstack drops. I can never remember the names of these ones or those ones. I think those might be yogurt and those might be milk chocolate. Either way, I don't know, but they're the Rotterstack drop thingy my bobbies. We then have some millet and then we have some of these, I think these are the speckled rolls by the pick and mix range from Pets at Home. So that is just what's in there. So Bear is going crazy chewing her bars, so I'm going to try and offer her one of these to see if she'll uh, stop chewing her bars for a little bit because I hate bar chewing hamsters. And there you go. She's never had one of these before either, so it's a nice new treat for her. Do you want it? You can take it. I'll pop it down there for you. <laughs> She's probably going to go back and bite her bars. So the first treat we have from the basket is just a packet of the Wild Tasty Dried Mealworms from Wilkinson's. So I've mixed mealworms in with their food because it's extra protein and obviously because some of my hamsters and the mice and the gerbils are obviously still quite young they do need more added protein in their diet whereas if they get older they tend to need to have more fibre so because of most of them are quite young we have got mealworms to mix in with their food so the next thing we have is a packet of these and it is the Pipkins special mini popcorn treats for small animals so that's basically what it looks like and you can microwave them and it actually turns into pet popcorn so I've not actually opened these yet and I'm probably going to give them one in a couple of days because of it's quite healthy it's not a very bad treat for them and then the next thing we have is a packet of the apple rollinis so I've actually opened these and I completely forgot to put them in the container so we just have a few left in there we then have another bag of the Woodlands Rodent Garnish. So the pets absolutely love this and I tend to sprinkle it on top of their food for them. So this is just the 175 gram bag and the pets absolutely adore this. So I'm definitely going to get some more and I really recommend this to any small animal owner. The next thing we have is just a bag of gravy bones so the pets prefer gravy bones rather than markies so i'm probably going to give the markies to the dogs and then replace the markies in the container with these so the pets seem to prefer these a lot more and i'm not too sure why but we just have a rather large bag of those 
we then have a bag of locust beans so again they've not been opened and these smell super badly so I really don't want to open them just yet but I usually mix these in with their food mixes as a little treat for them because it is quite healthy as well we then have a budgie seed belt so this is mainly for the dwarf hamsters because the Syrian hamsters and um, the gerbils get different treats because of obviously they're not prone to diabetes like some of the dwarfs are so we just have one of those and then we have the gerbils and the Syrians treat sticks so these are just the Rotterstack um, nature's nibblers but these are the carrot flavoured ones we then have a nature's natural goodness hay roller and it is the carrot and parsley flavour so I usually give these to the Syrians or the gerbils because I don't give them to the dwarfs because it's too big for them and also they don't like things like this so usually these go to the gerbils because there's two of them so it's quite a nice size treat for the both of them whereas if I gave it to a Syrian I'd take it off them about halfway through eating it so we just have one of those we then have a box of the supreme harry hamster treats so these are the yippee treats and they're just like little they're just basically like little um biscuit treats for them so they come in different colors as well and i've never had these before so i thought i'd go ahead and buy some because they're only a pound in tesco's the other day so we have some of those but i don't know if they'll really like them or not we then have some of the wilco fruity munchies so these are just again little biscuits and these are different flavors and the pets absolutely love them we then have some of the quicko sesame peanut snack things so that is what they look like and the pets absolutely love them we have some apple biscotti biscuits so the pets absolutely love these and obviously they're not that unhealthy because they are for babies so they really really do like these but they only get half a biscuit at a time we then have two packets of the Kiddylicious Banana Bites so again these are for babies and the pets absolutely love these and there's no bad things in them really it's basically just dried banana so they get them a little more often than what they get some other treats so we have some of those and then we just have some of the Kiddylicious Apple Crisps so again we have two packets and that is just dried apple so obviously Nemo butterscotch um blizzard and snowball don't get these as much as the other pets we then have one of the nature's natural goodness parsley wood rolls so this was actually reduced to clear ages ago and it was basically just because they wasn't selling so i decided to go ahead and pick one up for the pets so that is just what it looks like and again I mainly tend to give these to the Syrians rather than the gerbils because they just completely ignore the treat and chew the outside and then the treat goes absolutely everywhere. So we just have one of those. My bracelet is stuck in Bear's cage. So I decided it would be a good idea to get this thing stuck in Bear's cage, which is brilliant. Um, so yeah, anyway, back to the video. So the next thing we have is the Pet Face Fruit Nibble Stick. So I got this free with Bear's Cage a while ago. So these are going to go to the Syrians and probably the Gerbils and maybe the Mouse. I think it's too big for Remy but I might just break a little bit off for him. I don't give stuff like this to the Dwarfies at all because it's all fruity. So I don't really like giving them a lot of fruity things. We then have two cans of the Heinz creamed porridge baby food so the pets will not eat porridge when I make it I have to buy the baby stuff because they absolutely love it and it's nice and creamy for them so we just have two of those we then have a jar of the sweet potato bake now I don't actually ever remember buying this but it's been in my container thing for ages and I can't remember if someone bought it for me or if I bought it myself because I wouldn't usually buy something like this because I don't actually think the pets can eat this flavour so I'll have a look at the ingredients in a bit but I've always been put off giving it them because I know that they can only have potato if it's cooked or something like that but I don't actually think they can have sweet potato so that's just kind of been 
thrown to the bottom of the basket for a long time. And then we have the Grandpa's Sunday lunch flavour. So the pets don't like this, so again this has been thrown to the bottom of the basket. The only baby food they will eat is the cream porridge one. And then last of all in our treat collection, we just have a ton of mini boxes of um, little fruits and things. So we have the sultanas and apples, raisins and apricots, and the raisins and sultanas. So there's just a bunch of those in there as well. So the very last treat I have for the pets is in this quality street container and it's basically like a forage mix for them. So there's a bunch of different forage mixes all mixed into here and usually I give it to the gerbils and the Syrians because the dwarfs won't eat it. Remy's never tried it but I usually sprinkle it on top of their food and the dwarves will not touch it so I usually just have to throw it away. But with the gerbils I mix it in with their hay and they absolutely love it. So we have some of the um, square snacks by XL. We've got some of the, I think it's the flower mix stuff from the Nature's Natural Goodness range. And then there is just a bunch of different ones all mixed into there as well. So it's a nice healthy treat for them. So those are all the treats which I have for the pets. I was doing really well and not buying treats for a long time. And then, I don't know, I just started buying treats again. It's like an addiction that I just can't get out of. So we ended up having quite a lot of treats and I didn't realise how many we had because I've not looked in there for a couple of months um so yeah anyways as always thank you so much for the support guys and if you have any questions please feel free to comment and I'll try to answer them and yeah thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe bye